Hey guys, Nolan here. Today, I've got a quick piece of advice for you all. But before we do that, why not hit the subscribe button and the bell so you are notified the moment I upload new content, hmm? So last week, I was browsing the Facebook and I came across a post from one of the groups I follow. It's a trainer slash riding instructor group where people make comments on how you should do your craft. Don't get me wrong, I'm all for communities where people can speak freely. But I do sometimes question them when training comes into play. It's one thing for an amateur to go online looking for answers when they either can't afford a coach of their own or there's not one in their area. Sometimes people to learn from are slim pickings in certain disciplines. But when coaches, who believe they're professionals, have to ask other coaches how to, I don't know, teach a person to go over a cross rail or make a horse round and go onto contact. Uh, I mean, if you are somebody taking money from other people who want to learn how to do it and you're supposed to teach them, shouldn't you already know how to do it? You, you really honestly shouldn't have to ask random people on a Facebook group how to do your job. Anyway, the post that got my attention was somebody who wanted opinions on how they should deal with their working student after said working student made a boo-boo. Not going to get into what the boo-boo was, but I did want to go into a little bit of a discussion about the mindset of these Facebook groups. Because I have a bit of a problem when 99% of the comments are, fire her. She needs to go. And of course, my personal favorite, off with her head. For those of you who don't get my reference, I did do a video many, many months ago about bullies in Facebook groups. If you'd like to give it a check out, I'll link to it right up there, and I'll link it down in the description too. Definitely give it a check out. My problem is when these members of these groups follow aimlessly to the point of becoming judge, jury, and executioner. And while it may seem harmless to the people who are responding, they are just giving their opinion to the information given, however. Who is to say that the original poster gave all the real information? And now imagine you are that working student and made the mistake. And instead of your boss coming and speaking with you with, I don't know, a logical state of mind, she's now over the edge because this is what the people online said she had to do. Cue burning the working student at the stake. So I gave her my opinion, and my opinion was this. Instead of asking a group of strangers on a Facebook group what to do, who have never met or dealt with the working student you chose, why don't you go down to the barn and speak with her and figure out where things went wrong? Granted, I did make an offhand comment about how horse people on Facebook groups cracked me up. My joke didn't land too well. Actually, I don't even think it landed, period. She explained that it was very helpful to glean opinions from others who can identify and understand the situation. Okay, fine, that's completely understandable. But it was the next part that kind of made me question everything. And sometimes it's nice to vent with other professionals. I'm sorry, asking for input is so offensive to you. Interesting since it appears giving advice is what you do on YouTube. Ah, uh, so you've heard of me. But in all seriousness, this is the red flag. She identifies as a professional yet can't speak to her working student on her own? No, instead she has to ask a bunch of random people on a Facebook group to make this simple decision. I mean, if you see yourself as a professional, and I don't mean to be rude here, I really don't, but fucking act like it. I don't know one pro, and I do know my fair share, who would think to ask random people about this situation. And then it clicks. This woman isn't a real pro. No, no, she's just another pro from the back 40. A person that maybe doesn't know exactly how to train people and horses together, but somehow takes the ignorance, money, and laughs their way to the bank. Now, I'm not saying that everybody in this group is like this, but it does kind of paint a picture to what exactly is happening to the horse industry. I did do a video a long, long time ago about why the horse industry struggles at creating trainers. If you're interested in that video, there, there. And this is where the rant leads to. We are in the age where anybody with a computer in front of them can become a coach. A certified coach. Back when my coach was in the works to become certified, she was put in front of a panel of judges. Given a horse and rider she had never met before, and in 30 minutes she was expected to learn about the duo, find the problem they were having, the root problem mind you, not the symptoms, and finally make a difference that satisfied the judges. Now take that example and bring it to this other pro here, who had to come online to ask random people on a Facebook group what should she do? Something as simple as talking with their working student. 
And that's what I wanted to bring up today. Just because somebody says they are a coach doesn't automatically mean they are coaching material. So for people who are looking for answers, be careful who you're getting your answers from. And this is where I need your input, guys. In the next 40 years, when the real pros, the real trainers are out of the equation, and these new coaches are what's being offered, where are we going to be in the horse world? What is the horse industry going to look like? Let me know down in the comments below. And maybe, hey, I'm missing something, and you want to educate me? By all means, go for it. Post away, because maybe I am missing something. Who knows? I know it's shocking, but I have been wrong before. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. As I said before, and I'll say it again, it's a little thing, but it really does go a long way. And if you haven't already, why not hit the subscribe button and enjoy the Little Cruiser Guild yourself. We have new videos up every week for your entertainment, but also to make this horse world make a bit more sense. And that's pretty much everything I've got for you guys today. Alright? Thank you so much for watching. I am Noel Michael Cruz. I'll talk to you.